Hi guys, is this still my goat? I don't know, it's been a while since I've used it. Let's try that out. Also, I've got, <clears throat> oops, got water in here. Um, Odyssey One, which is a collab between the Razor Company and Crown and Crane. And I've never tried Crown and Crane before, so I'm excited for this. This is modeled after Dolce & Gabbana the One. Don't miss it. Hi guys, cheers. Happy MLK Day to those in the U.S. Or, you know, I guess you could celebrate it wherever. Ah, Dogfish Head 60 Day IPA. This is um, MLK Day, as I said. Monday, um, I worked the weekend, so I've just put in my five days of work, and now I'm finally getting a day off. Um, so I'm excited for this shave. So... Odyssey One, Crown and Crane, and the Razor Company. And I'll give you scent notes if you guys don't know what um, Dolce & Gabbana the One is. Um, it's a tobacco fragrance, but I mean, there's a whole lot more going on. It's not just tobacco. Um, top notes, grapefruit, coriander, basil. Mid notes, ginger, cardamom, orange blossom. Base is amber, tobacco, and cedar. Um, and it's a, a beautiful tobacco um, tobacco fragrance to my nose. Um, so that is the soap splash going to be snake bite. Um, it's really cold outside today and it's, um, we've already gotten like an inch of sleet. Um, and now we're supposed to get like four inches of snow on top of that. And then another, uh, quarter to half inch of sleet on top of that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, obviously my scent of the day is going to be Dolce & Gabbana, the one it's a very nice fragrance. I wish it lasted longer, but the great one anywhere. Anyway, um, my geode from AKA Brushworks with their synthetic knot. I think this one is AK7. Uh, maybe it's AK5. I don't know. There's some kind of AK in there and then a number. Um, so that weapon of the day, Mula R41 with a feather blade. Um, and then... This is my self-care day too, so I've already oiled the hair um, and I'm going to finish after my aftershave with hydration potion from Zingari Man followed by the rescue potion. So this one kind of pulls in moisture. This is kind of a hyaluronic acid based um, and then this is, you know, a face oil. Um, so this gets moisture in, this holds it in. Um, really great stuff to makes your face um, shiny so I typically do it at night but I'm not doing anything today but laying around and watching the uh, weather get really bad so um, I'll be fine with a shiny face all right so once again I've not tried crown and cream before um, I don't know why just because I should, not even just because I don't know <laughs> all right so this is kind of a, a harder soap so I did um, soak it and I'll get some of that water on my face. Mm, nice scent on this. Every time I see these tubs like this, it makes me think of Katie's Bubbles. Because it was the first one that I ever saw using these. All right. Some nice slickness right off, so Use an alum block to get some of that off of my hands. And let's get her loaded up. I could have done that before I started the video, but whatever. It's a harder soap, so you'll get to see me work it a little bit. I'll make sure and get plenty into the brush, especially first time using a formula. I wanna make sure that I've got plenty on there so I can effectively critique it. Critique, review, whatever you want to call it. Use it and tell you what I think of it. And yes, using it one time doesn't really tell you the full story, but it gives you a good idea. It gives you a good idea of what you're looking for. This is a tallow-based soap. I know there's some cocoa butter, shea butter. Uh, I'm not sure what else. All right, I think that's loaded full. And then some probably. 
The only thing I don't care for with these tubs is that you get that lather up in there, which is kind of hard to kind of hard to get out. I mean, you know, not that it's that big of a deal, but it's just the, the one thing that I don't really care for about these tubs. They look cool though. So there's the plus. I'm excited to use the R41 again. Got a spot right there that I'm hoping doesn't open up today. But if it does, we'll get it really smoothed out with the R41 and the feather. There should be no bump there anymore. Well, I've got about enough to shave with here. But we're not going to do that, are we? Mm -mm. We got to see how much water this will take. I've got some time today, I'm not rushing through a shave. I'm not Russian at all. I'm actually American. I know. I'm pretty bad. But isn't that what you guys have come to expect from me? Really bad jokes. Decent shaves. Poor personality. Well, if that's what you like, then you're in business. Yep, got plenty of soap on there. This may take us a minute to work through. But as you know, this is my favorite part of the shave. I got one of Mandy's friends um, into wet shaving now. I let her borrow um, my Mercur 34C and a Voshkod blade um, just to let her try and see what she thought. And she loves it. And she says that now she can shave less because it shaves so closely that it takes longer for it to grow out. So I'm gonna get her hooked up with a 34C and um, I will hook her up with some blades. I'll hook her up with some software too. I'm sure I've got an extra brush or two around here also. Um, so I've got her hooked up with some stuff, some soap and aftershave. and get her into the old factory portion of wet shaving. All right. <laughs> it's falling out of the brush. So I think we're hydrated. Yeah, I gotta share this with you. everywhere so we're hydrated and I'm covered in soap sorry no big deal is it hope everyone had a nice weekend out there I hope that your NFL teams won sorry Nate mm. The old Vikings just couldn't pull it out. I'm just waiting for the Chiefs game. I am, you know, kind of excited to watch the game tonight, too. So I'm hoping that this will be Tom Brady's last game. Sorry to any of the fans out there. But, you know, I'm a Peyton Manning fan. You can't like him and Tom Brady both. Also, you know, the cheating scandals and the um, kind of stuff that happened um, between them and the, him and the Saints and Miami over the offseason. Um, they're just not pretty things. They just don't, they don't scream good sportsmanship to me. Um, and I'm all about the sportsmanship. I don't like to win cheap. Um, you know, I don't like cheating. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see 
if the R41 is still my still my goat. I have not used this baby in a while. Bombs away. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is like five days growth. I'm trying to not cut that spot. Mm hmm. It's a great razor, man, while still being smooth. And I think the sharper your blade in here, the smoother it is, which may seem, you know, the opposite, uh, but it absolutely is correct. I think really efficient razors work well with efficient blades. I may have said that a time or two on this channel. Or maybe ad nauseum. I don't know. No, I don't really get nauseous from ads either. It's just a saying. Come on. Come on, bomb. Nah. That wasn't much of a bomb. It was like a little hand grenade or something. There we go. All right, let's focus on bombs. Those bombs are from my buddy, Big Dude Barbus. Good dude. I mean, you can definitely go one pass and call it good. Don't be scared, B-Lou. Do it. Man, that mustache hair is so tough. Sorry, you don't have to get it all in one pass, do you? I don't. If you one pass shave, then yes. It is um, the Razor Company Week on BBS Live. And it is a BBS Live Week. So it's coming up Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The real time zone. All right, there's so much air in here. I'm gonna get some new water in, get this old stuff out. Nice first pass, some nice residual slickness. All positive so far. Nice scent. Well, um, probably a little less than medium on the uh, scent strength scale. It's just fine by me. I don't need this scent to stay around forever. I just need it for a good shave. All right, let me get a little more water in here. Oh, they're dripping down. Lots of goodness. Handled the water very well. stuff. Nice soap. 
even right up my nose. All right, I'm gonna try to not overshave today. So instead of going all the way across and all the way across, I'm just gonna go this way and then obviously south to north. Everyone needs to own this razor. I don't care if you only pick it up every now and then. You need to own this razor. It's, I mean, it's an icon of the shaving world, I would say. A lot of people scared of it. I don't know why. I mean, this thing is smooth. And quite efficient. Mm -hmm. Boy, feels nice to get that off oh my face. I mean, you can see I'm not being like overly careful or anything. I mean, I'm just, just shaving. The Sterling and the Sterling Hyper Aggressive, be careful. They are not for the person that likes to not really pay attention while shaving. They're both very efficient. And they'll get you if you're not careful. But they're fun. You know, sometimes you'd like to drive a big, you know, a big old, uh, like a big old Cadillac, you know, like an old Coupe de Ville uh, Fleetwood, something like that. And sometimes you want to drive a Ferrari. So just depends on what you're looking for. Another nice pass. A really great brush. It's a really good job. And it's purdy. I'll put a little more water in here for fun. How about more? Why they're still building, not dissipating at all. You can see it's just making more lather. It's good soap base. Very nice water tolerance. All right. 
pass number three. Probably do a little cleanup after this one if needed. I'm trying to, you know, not really overshave. Good luck. I always say that and then I want to get just a little bit closer. And then I find out a few hours later, like, Maybe I overshaved a little bit. Dancing with the devil. Really nice um, rendition of the one in the soap. Like it very much. Not exactly like it, but inspired by a very good inspiration. You know, I mean, it's hard to make them smell exactly the same because you got a soap base in there too, which tends to affect the scent a little or a lot, depending. But uh, very nice, very enjoyable. In using it, I definitely know that it's inspired by the one. Might be a little inspired by the two also, but mostly the one. always have to be real methodical about shaving under my nose with the um, dog bite that I got years back it left a scar awesome I got him all right, is there anything to clean up? Yeah, let's go. There's a touch left. Might as well do it right. There's really not much left here. I gotta make sure that snake bite gives me the largest amount of burn. Why? Because there's something wrong with me, that's why. Such a great shaver. It's still my goat. Chasing that dragon. <laughs> no, I haven't had to shave that good in a while. This is extra, extra, extra close. Not just two extras, three extras. That's good. 
that's gonna put me in that right frame of mind. That is so incredibly smooth. It's like glass. No, not the cut side that cuts you. You guys. Mm. Man. Woo. That is great. All right. Let's see if she'll bite me. I'll find accoutrements. Snake bite. It's just straight menthol. Well, and alcohol. A little burn. Not bad at all. Not like when you overshave, cut yourself. Gets in those eyes pretty good. Whew. All right, um, I'll take my rings off real quick, so I'm gonna use face oil. All right, so you want your face to be a little moist um, when you put both of these on, um, and this is the hydration potion. I use two pumps of each one of these, typically. Um, the rescue potion today, I'm gonna use three. Um, just because it's going to be on all day and I want to get feeling nice. Ooh, boy, that menthol. So that's great. And then this soaks in really quickly. And then the rescue potion. And typically I'll do two pumps at night. Um, but I'm going to do three today. Just because I want to. I want to feel extra special and glow extra. I will look like the vampires on Twilight in the sunshine. Look at that. There's the shine. Million dollar skin. I'll tell you what, the next day, your skin feels so good after using this stuff. Like just super supple. Super moisturized. And they say to go against the hair growth with this stuff too, which mine's all over the place. So, mm. really good stuff. All right, I'll get this off my fingers so I don't drop my EDT bottle. It's extra delicate toilet. Skin's feeling nice. It's been super, super dry air. Really sucks the moisture out of you quickly. All right, and here we go. Look, I don't see any. Mm, maybe a couple of tiny spots. Overall, really, really nice shave. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. My wife likes this one too. And she's here today, so. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, really great um, hardware and software today. Really nice soap. Uh, really glad to, to try Crown and Crane finally. Um, you can see it did very well. Um, brush is awesome. That knot is a great synthetic knot. Um, so hope you guys have a great week. Um, I'm going to continue um, pampering myself today. Uh, I've got some little under eye things that I'll be putting on next. I mean, why not do it upright? Hope you have a fantastic week. Um, be good to somebody and I'll see you on the next one.